I'm Erin Height with 97.5 The Fanatic, and I talked to your favorite Fanatic host to find out their reaction after Monday Night's Eagles game with the Saints. Okay, sitting here with Mike Missinelli. Mike, how do you feel about last night's debacle? Well, you know, I looked out my window last night, Erin, and uh, I, I saw the caissons. They were rolling a, a coffin down, down the thing because the season officially died last night. There's nothing they can do about it. At 3-5, and five, they can't go to the playoffs, and so the rest of the season we're going to be talking about the rebuilding of the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. Sean, not colorful. How was how are your thoughts about last night's game? Oh, it was just um, disgraceful. Not much, I, I just there's not much you could say about it right now. Uh, it's November sixth, and I think the season's over. Three and five. Um, I'm worried because I don't know what's going to happen as far as uh, listen to me. I'm worried. That's funny. Um, I just. There's not a lot of heart in this team. I, I, w I wouldn't be shocked if they end up with five wins at the end of the season. Five wins. We're talking about the Philadelphia Eagles, top five franchise in the NFL, five wins. That's acceptable in cities like Jacksonville, maybe Kansas City, but not here in Philadelphia. Disgraceful. I didn't think that Andy Reid would ever have to worry about losing his job this year. Sorry. Uh, that's Atlanta Falcons, no heart. That's New Orleans Saints, terrible play calling. They played with a little bit of heart there. But just across the board, they are outplayed in every position, and that starts from the top to the bottom. I'm sorry Howie Roseman's got to go. Andy Reid's got to go. Marty Mornowig's got to go. And I'm not, this isn't something that, you know, I'm putting on people for the first time. Everybody's pretty much on the same page about what needs to happen with this Eagles organization as a whole. Tony, how do you feel after last night's game? I went from angry to frustrated to sick and tired, to disgusted, to numb. I'm now numb. It's halfway through the season, and I'll get the hate out for the Cowboys again because both teams could be 1-15. and 15. I'll, Luckily, they're playing the Cowboys this week, so I'll get past the stench of New Orleans and then focus on the Cowboys. That's, I don't want to even think about that game again last night. Here with Nikhil, response to last night's Eagles game. How are you feeling today? Uh, well, you know what? Last night I was angry. This morning I'm kind of just dejected. It's become expected at this point. This is a team that you think has a bunch of talent, and then you start to think, well, maybe they're not that talented. And at the end of the day, this team is 3-5, and five, and they just don't do the things that good football teams do. Michael Vick gets blitzed by seven guys. What do they do? They have five guys blocking seven. I mean, it just mathematically, it just doesn't add up. It's a bad football team right now, a team that I think has pretty much given up on Andy Reid. I think they've tuned him out. And I think his message has been lost. And that right now, we're on pace for another dejecting season, just like last year, 8-8. Eight and eight. Disaster. <laughs> just, Aaron, I'll tell you, it's, um, it's very demoralizing. I mean, I'm, I'm laughing right now. I'm smiling. You know, we're on camera. We're sort of supposed to when we're on camera. But inside, I'm hurt. You know, I'm hurting, but I'm actually starting now not to hurt in the sense that this is the new norm. I, I, I mean, it's really, you know, I'm sure that everyone watching... I'm sure it resonates with almost everybody. I mean, it's just you get to the point where there's like an almost like an emotional detachment, and, and I feel like I'm 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 almost like detached from the situation now, because I mean I care so much as our this is our team, but you get to the point where it you just feel so beaten down. I, I think last night I might have crossed the threshold where you're hurt, but then you just start becoming numb to it, and uh, I guess that's how I kind of feel. I feel a little numb right now. I mean it's. And it's not just last night, and it's not just three and five. It's last year's eight and eight. It's 14 years of Andy Reid. <laughs> I mean, it's painful. It, it, it's, but it's numb also. It's, you know, does that make sense? Oh, I was very numb. I didn't, I, you know, if I didn't really have to watch the game, I kind of wanted to turn it off. How do you feel after last night's loss? Well, I'm, the, I'm an analyst, Aaron. So, you know, my job is basically to look at the issues and what the problems are and to see and kind of expose those issues, the good and the bad, you know, in this case, a lot of bad. But uh, that's that's what I do. So I'm kind of neutral because I, I, I want to be neutral. I don't want to – I want to see the Eagles do well. But at the same time, I, I want to evaluate all teams the same. And so it's just disappointing because you see a lot of the same mistakes being just made over and over and over again and repeated over and over again. And so you just don't see the corrections, which is disappointing. Then you just see, you know, some problem in personnel as well. So how does it feel to be on this end of this Eagles collapse? How does it feel? Uh, it doesn't feel good, but it's also not like, for instance, the first game of the season, 
against the Cleveland Browns. They won the game, and I came in here, and I was so angry. And I blew a gasket because I saw what the season was going to become. You could see it in that game. Even when they were winning games and getting lucky, you could see that it was going to be a problem this season. We saw it in the preseason. Michael Vick gets injured on like pretty much every every series that he came in and he had, even though he hasn't been injured this season you saw there were issues with the teams and we were told by the organization last year and then this year that this was the team that was going to be a true contender for a Super Bowl but then you watch them play and you didn't see that so I can't say I'm surprised about this I'm beaten down by it and last night I didn't get angry at all I just kind of watched the game and shook my head and, and expected it so first game of the season blew a gasket even though they won right now no emotion.